welcome to Global Market Bulletin TV. In today's feature executive interview, we have our guest, Greg Mays, Chief Executive Officer and Director of Reunion Neuroscience, traded under the ticker symbol REUN. Mr. Mays, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about the company for those who are not familiar with your work as a clinical stage pharmaceutical company developing therapeutic solutions for underserved mental health conditions? Great, thank you for having us here today. And uh, again, my name is Greg Mays. I'm the uh, president and CEO of uh, Reunion Neuroscience. I've been in the biopharma industry for over 20 years. This is my third uh, CEO opportunity. And I'm proud to say I've been associated with three uh, exits where uh, biotech companies that I've been uh, associated with uh, or worked for have uh, engineered uh, transactions to uh, larger pharmas or bigger biotech companies. I came to uh, Reunion Neuroscience in the uh, end of September of 2022 uh, to help a relatively new company. A reunion was just established in August of 2022 as a spin out associated with uh, uh, another company called Field Trip Health. Field Trip Health became Reunion Neuroscience, and we spun out the Field Trip Health uh, psychedelic clinic based business out to a, uh, another company that's now called Field Trip Health and Wellness. I came to Reunion Neuroscience for really three reasons. One, I do believe that we are facing a mental health crisis uh, around the globe, and we need new opportunities and new tools to really put depression and anxiety into a, a full-fledged remission. Psychedelics, for the second reason I came here, are sort of that new frontier. They are really have the most promise and op opportunity for people uh, moving forward. Um, who are looking for new innovative ways to deal with their mental health conditions or for companies like mine to help to develop uh, new options for psychiatrists and other physicians. Uh, lastly, why out of all the psychedelic companies out there would I choose Reunion Neuroscience? I chose Reunion Neuroscience because the company uh, is new, has an opportunity for me to build a world-class clinical development team around it. We are the only company in clinical development in the world that's developing a 4-hydroxy DIPT analog, which allowed us to create a new chemical entity and ultimately receive a US patent and trademark office composition of matter patent, protecting the things that we are working on and our ultimate commercialization goals out to uh, 2041. And lastly, um, in the world of psychedelics, the, administ the administration of psychedelics can be viewed, one negative can be viewed as the amount of time it takes to administer a psychedelic. It can be, a, significantly six hours or longer. And we believe that the way our product has been engineered that we are showing now in the clinic that we can actually have a significantly shorter psychedelic experience time. And we're gonna take all that data that we just announced on January 9th into a phase two program. So lots of great reasons why I'm here. And I think I'm uniquely positioned to uh, help take the proof of concept data we have from phase one into a robust phase two program. Oh, that's incredible. Well, recently you announced Robert Alexander, MD, as the company's chief medical officer. Can you give us an update regarding that information and any executive commentary regarding the news? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was it's a, it's a pure pleasure. Bob actually was a uh, consultant for Reunion Neuroscience, and I think his decision to want to join us as an employee and not a consultant and to really dive fully into the Reunion Neuroscience um, at this stage in his career is, is just a, a remarkable testament to the quality and efficiency of the data that we saw uh, that was released on January 9th. And now Bob wants to join us as we push the company forward into phase two um, and beyond. Bob is a well-seasoned, well-traveled uh, psychiatrist that has spent um, many uh, impactful experiences at other uh, big pharmaceutical companies. He knows what it takes to develop quality data um, in, a, in an efficient way. And so we're thrilled to have that Bob made the decision to say, you know what, guys, I don't want to just be a consultant for Union Neuroscience anymore. I want to be an employee. In addition, the company also announced that it has completed the interim data analysis for its phase one clinical trial with lead asset, I hope I'm saying this right, RE104. Um, a unique 4-OH DIPT prodrug, which is another major move for your organization. Can you tell us a bit more about that? No, absolutely. I mean, this is, uh, when I joined the company in September, this is what we all set, uh, set our sights on. We set our set sights on really showing that how uh, RE104 can work in the clinic. What is it gonna look like in phase one? 
And this wasn't just any other phase one. This was a phase one study that was uh, conducted in Australia with, uh, at, at this moment in time, 32 patients across four cohorts of data, um, really uh, very robust. And we're, we were thrilled to announce um, on January 9th uh, the top line results of that study, which really showed that the RE104 is safe and tolerable. That's the first thing you're gonna look for in any human clinical trial. But beyond that, we were able to prove that our shorter psychedelic experience time of three to four hours is, is, is achievable. And in fact, is what occurred um, amongst the patients that we have evaluated um, in that study to date. And lastly, the majority of the patients were able to achieve at a certain dosing level that we will disclose at the uh, end of this first half of the year in a major medical meeting when we fully disclose every little detail associated with this study, uh, we were able to achieve a complete mystical experience in a majority um, of the patients. This is significant because a complete mystical experience ultimately becomes a biomarker for success and clinical efficacy downstream for the product. So all in all, it was uh, January 9th when we re re released the data. It was a great day for reunion. And that really makes us a phase two ready company that's moving into um, future studies uh, in the psychedelic area that will, we think can help benefit people with mental health conditions. Interesting. Uh, what do you feel is the current biggest problem or market opportunity in postpartum depression that Reunion Neuroscience is working to address? No, absolutely. I mean, we're looking to take our product RE104 into phase two um, in postpartum depression. Um, that's that's our, our clear plan. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a leader in biopharma because I think too many CEOs and other leaders want to do too much with too little, and that dilutes their focus. So our, our, our plans for the year are very, very simple and straightforward. Number one was to produce the phase one data that I just reviewed with you. Two is to get our study open in the United States at over 20 uh, clinical sites and to start dosing patients in postpartum depression. Now, why postpartum depression? Postpartum depression is a huge unmet medical need. There is only one other approved product in the United States um, in that area. And in fact, last year, the CDC reported that 80% of the women who die between the date of childbirth and one year later, 80% of them die due to mental health conditions with drug overdose and death by suicide being the leading causes. So this is a real um, significant place to play. The existing um, medication that is approved by the FDA um, in, this, in this area is, requires a 60 hour inpatient infusion with a very significant washout period and really is going to, in many ways, well, has the potential to result in um, the mother bonding period through breast, breastfeeding uh, to be discontinued. So we think that we can, um, using the psychedelic backbone in this area, we can show a high percentage of responders in a de novo depression area, area of depression. Uh, and with psychedelics, you see a rapid onset of, of effects. So we think within 24 to 48 hours, women will actually feel better about themselves and the world around them and can return because we will have a shorter washout period uh, to, to breastfeeding and bonding and move forward. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a real, it's a real great opportunity. And for me, from a business perspective, um, you know, we are a, a, a small to mid cap company that's publicly traded, as you mentioned at the outset at REUN. And what this allows us to do is to take our phase one data in a smaller niche patient population of 40 patients, move forward, um, in, in 40 patient study and really show in a robust phase two model, you know, whether we work there or not. I think based upon the phase one data, we have a good chance at showing, uh, showing efficacy and safety um, in this patient population. Obviously the data will let us know, but we won't know until the end of 2024. It may seem like a ways out for you today, but actually um, uh, an, a, a company like ours that is able to take 40 patients and, and let investors and the postpartum depression world know that, hey, by the end of 2024, we will have data that should suggest um, whether we work in this area or not is really exciting. And for me, that patient size actually keeps our, 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 investment, our invested dollars lower. Um, it gets there in a shorter time frame, And really at the end of the day is, is a great way to, to show the efficacy and safety profile of RE104 in a bigger subset. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you brought that up because looking even farther into the future, what's next in the pipeline for the next say three to five years for reunion neuroscience? Yeah, I mean, you know, what we want to do is we want to be able to get 
uh, RE104 out the door in the postpartum depression. That's going to be our first uh, disease state area. So as I identified, we, that we, we are seeking to secure a, a funding pathway to have that accomplished by the end of 2024 and, and, and produce that data. But we also believe that RE104 can have you know, multiple effects in other disease state areas, other depressions, other anxieties, substance abuse disorders. A week does not pass in my job where somebody does not suggest to me an area for further exploration of the safety and efficacy of RE104. But I do believe we have to take one step at a time. And as we build the blocks towards the future, if we are successful in postpartum depression, that will increase the value of the company and the likelihood that others are going to want to build upon the, the success of our phase two data um, and build it stronger by looking at other indications such as treatment resistant depression, maybe end of life distress, or maybe even something in the area of substance use disorder. So I can't specifically tell you exactly what we're gonna go into right now. I just do know that I think it's important for our company to focus our relatively small company of 15 employees um, on the here and now and what we've got to get accomplished here in 2023. And with execution, we'll be get more opportunities. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, if I may ask, are there any updates that you can share on the RE200 series, which includes compounds with potential for more selective serotonin receptor activity? Absolutely. I'd be happy to. I mean, basically, RE200 is, is, a, uh, is a pipeline within RE104. And it, it says to ourselves, hey, how can we do better um, with what we know RE104 has um, or offers? And so we, you know, you nailed it in terms of, you know, how, how it might in fact impact cardiovascular liability or, you know, by, by the way it targets other serotonin receptors uh, in the brain. What I can tell you is that today is that as we exit 2023, we will have a lead clinical candidate that we will be putting into uh, pre-IND enabling studies, which means basically getting a RE200 uh, RE candidate ready for the clinic in 2024, which is very exciting uh, for us to be able to, because, you know, once you, you know, this is, this is not dissimilar in the biopharmaceutical area, but, you know, sometimes you have a great idea and how can you refine it or continue to polish it to make it an even more effective therapy downstream? Of course, of course. Well, this has been extremely informative and helpful, Greg. I want to thank you so much for your time. Can you please let the audience know the best place that they can go for additional company information? I would be happy to. We have, a, I think, a jam-packed website that gets you all the information that you need, www.reunionneuro.com. Come check us out there. I'm not a CEO in a closet. I'd love to get to know you. And thanks Sounds for your time good. today. Thank you so much, Greg. And we look forward to monitoring your success. And we look forward to speaking with you again in the future. Absolutely. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.